and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. What we have this time is um, quite a talked about whiskey. It is the Ardbeg five year old Wee Beastie. Uh, bought this for about $69 at BC liquor stores. Uh, it is uh, non chill filtered. It doesn't mention anything about um, natural colour, although I think Ardbeg rarely used um, E158, if at all, uh, bottled at 47.4% ABV with that five-year age statement. And really a lot has been said about uh, our big wee beastie. This is actually a member of the core range. It's a new addition to the core range. It's not a, um, a special edition or anything like that. Um, so for a decent price, $69 versus now almost 100 for the 10 year old, um, I thought it was worth a shot. Uh, so I bought it quite a while ago. I had it open for quite a while and you'll see as I go through my notes how my views on it may have uh, changed as I've gone down the bottle. Lovely uh, packaging, by the way. I love the... Um, the Ardbeg green bottle. This is just a bottle on its own, doesn't come in a carton or tube or anything, which I think is kind of good. Oh, Peter Peter. Um, immediately, I pick up a lot of new make spirit on the nose. And when I first um, you know, it, it has a mixture of uh, ex bourbon, ex oloroso casks, and at first I thought that this was really amateur because it, and that's strange to say that about an Ardbeg, which is obviously a very good distillery, and I like them very much. But you know, it was like you go to a whiskey festival and somebody says we're a new distillery and we've got this uh, peated whiskey and it's four years old or three years old and it's ex oloroso and you try it and it's just not there it's not a, a coherent thing it's a new make spirit with um kind of a cynically added um um sherry or wine cask uh finish not that artfully done and when the bottle was fresh open I was disappointed because I did think it had this sort of amateur, very young whiskey with um, with a, a sherry cast that just wasn't working with it. it was it was almost trying to hide it. But then, salty oat cakes, hobnob biscuits started to come through. A really nice biscuity uh, cereal note, and then it starts to become something that you really, really enjoy uh, nosing. There's a lot of honey, golden syrup, almost a tennis ball type note, you know, very fresh tennis balls in the in the can. This sounds odd, but there is that kind of, I don't find it unpleasant, that, that uh, smell. Fresh sea air, very definitely a big handful of sphagnum uh, moss, a smoky medicinal peat, rye toast, very definitely a, a good whack of wintergreen. Strawberry cheese stick cake, fudge, salted caramel, a kind of drying uh, brininess too on, on the nose. Natural pressed apple juice. English breakfast tea, pipe tobacco, eucalyptus, and I, I feel as though the the youngness, the youth of this, and the uh, the oloroso has faded into the background and allowed the coastal um, and distillery character to to come out so a bit of oxidation has has been welcome and the 
palette. Immediately the phenols come through. Some barley sugars, peat, salt, very dark chocolate, like the 90% cocoa dark chocolate, which I really like, a bit of an acquired taste. Wine tannins, sweet fruit, strawberry syrup, a red wine sweetness, chocolate, honey, cinder toffee, the center of the crunchy bar, white chocolate, fudge, raisin, butterscotch. Hmm. Really getting some iodine now through on, on the nose. So let's give it a drop of water. One teaspoonful for that uh, generous dram. Nose is taking on a citrus that I never noticed before. More salt, even more salt than before. A bit of white pepper. Maybe, maybe even some mustard seed. Picking up Danish pastries, the phenols, an ashy peat, celeriac. That's a strange one. Fennel. Mixed fruits, apples, raisins, peanut, banana. Drinking chocolate and cocoa powder. Palette with with water, starting to get a nice sweet citrus, sweet and sour notes, barley sugar, peanut brittle, butterscotch, a really nice ground nutmeg, ginger, and there's a creaminess, almost like an egg custard slice. Uh, they were sold in bakeries in the UK. Um, odd things, really, kind of a, a, a flaky pastry and then an egg custard layer on the top. Probably very bad for you, but I do remember those. I was never a huge fan of them as a child. Um, I preferred a gingerbread man or something like that, but I remember the egg custard slices. Um, the finish is of a sort of sourish peat, a lot of salt and sea air, some tannins starting to come in, black pepper, phenols, it's salty, there's some iodine there, seaweed, an ashy peat, some uh, peanuts with the skins on them almost, uh, toasted almonds again with the with the skins, and white pepper. Mm. So I'd say with this, it's very good. I don't think it's as good as the ten or the Ugadal, but it's half the age of the ten. Um, and yes, it's it's a little bit of a young thing. It's called the Wee Beastie. They're playing on that a little bit. Uh, but it is a very enjoyable uh, young Isla, young peated Isla. Uh, so I'd say buy it because it's not a huge price. Give it some time. Open it, spend a bit of time with it. Um, it definitely uh, improves over time. And I'm now really enjoying it. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Goodbye.